In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and save a circuit on your icon menu so that you can reuse it on any other project or repeatedly within the same project. Okay, so first of all, I've got to create a circuit. And you can see here I've already created um, some circuits for some supply to uh, motors. So then, once I've done that, I need to then save the circuit to my icon menu. So I'm not going to go to the icon menu itself. What I'm going to go to is the icon menu wizard over here. So that is going to allow me to edit the icon menu. So I'm going to select the schematic menu and then click OK. OK, so here's my icon menu and it looks almost exactly the same as the normal icon menu when you click on the, the button up the top left hand side there. But you have this additional uh, button here to add component command circuit or a sub menu. So actually I've already got my sub menus here, circuits and symbols, so I don't need to add a new su sub menu. I just need to drill into one of the sub menus. And you can see I've got a couple of existing circuits already there and I've picked different icons depending on what I'm placing. So I've got one for a uh, 100 amp incoming supply and one for a two pole circuit breaker. So I'm going to add a new circuit. I'm going to call this two times motor circuit. And I'm going to browse and find an image. I don't know what sort of images I've got in here right now. Let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, just grab nothing really relevant. So I'm just going to grab that one. And I will just use the same name. We can see here that I've got mine set up to save in specific locations. So the circuit will save here and the, and they also the uh, the PNG will save in the same place okay click OK it's telling me that I've already got that PNG existing within the folder I can replace it or not either is fine in this case and then I'm going to click for a base point those of you who use AutoCAD a lot should be familiar with the base point you'll see what it is shortly once I place the circuit but basically it's the insertion point where you drop the circuit onto your mouse. Then I need to draw a box selecting the items I want within the circuit. Okay, if I don't want these items I can hold shift to deselect with the same box. Yeah, so I've deselected those items there, I didn't need those in my circuit. Okay, once I'm happy with the selection I just press enter and that's done. So I can click OK on that. All right, so then I can go to another page or another project. And I can select my icon menu. I can go to my circuit submenu. And there is my new circuit. I can select that. It asks me for a scale. Typically, you're going to keep it at one to one. It's going to ask me to update circuit text layers and things like that, whether I want to move all lines to wire layers, whether I want to fix the wire numbers. Typically, I'm going to leave this as it is. Yep. And then I can pop this down. So you can see the base point is where the circuit falls on my mouse. So you want to pick a suitable point for that. Yeah, so this is where I want to drop it on my line. Yeah, that about there. Yep. And that's done. And what you'll see is it will tag the new components respectively. So if I just went through and did a retag components, okay. You can see that that one's retagged to 301, that's 302, that's 303. And then if I did my numbers, wire numbers, drawing wide, we can see there my numbers have updated as well. So that's how we can easily save a circuit to our icon menu to reuse time and time again. 
just to reiterate, recently used circuits, click OK and pop down there. Oops. 303, 304, 305. Yep, perfect. Thank you for watching our video. Please feel free to contact Madam Machine if you have any questions. Bye.